my dear friends i welcome you all to my daily dose so i am myself dr rajesh gubba i am a cardiologist and i am also the mentor for teaching general medicine for exams like neat pg aims pga and as well as jipma so as the part of today's daily dose i have a clinical question here so i have a 67 year old woman she is admitted to the emergency with the pyrexia and cough productive of green color sputum and on examination pulse rate it shows 101 per minute the blood pressure is 80 by 60 and respiratory rate is 32 she is alert and oriented in space and time and uh, the complete blood picture was done wherein wbc count it shows 21000 so here it is it should be 21k per cubic millimeter and urea it is uh, 8.5 millimoles per liter the chest x ray shows the presence of patch of consolidation in the lower zone of the right lung she is treated for severe community acquired pneumonia which of the following is the correct calculated curb 65 score the options are 6 8 4 0 now so first of all you should know what is this particular curb 65 curb 65 this is one of the cvrt score which this is one of the score which will assess the cvrt of pneumonia and as well as it will also predict where to admit the patient right it will also predict where to admit the patient that is what the importance of your curb 65 score now what does this particular curb 65 stands for and what we need to take into consideration let me discuss about this curb 65 so you take c stands for confusion u is your urea more than 7 millimoles per liter r respiratory rate more than 30 blood pressure less than 90 systolic and less than 60 diastolic age of the individual 65 or above so this is what are the components of the curb 65 now what we do is like we give a score of 1 to each of these particular parameter if the individual has that particular component for example if the individual has confusion you give a score of 1 and if the urea levels are more than 7 millimoles per liter then give a score of 1 if respiratory rate is more than 30 give a score of 1 and if the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 then give a score of 1 and age of the individual if it is like 65 give a score of 1 all right now this is what is your curb 65 so like uh, if you take curb 65 the score can be 0 if none of these parameters are there in the individual or the maximum score or it can be up to 5 right it can be up to 5 that means if all the parameters are there in the individual if all the components are there in the individual the maximum score that can be there is 5 so now this is what the scoring which is been recommended by the british thoracic society what exactly is this particular scoring for for assessing the cvrt of the community acquired pneumonia and we will be also able to decide where to admit the patient right can we treat the patient on outpatient basis do we need to admit the patient in the hospital for short stay or do we need to admit the patient in the icu and not only that this particular scoring system will also decide what is the percentage of mortality in patients with the pneumonia all right next now first we will calculate the score then we will decide where to admit and what will be the percentage of mortality now so if you take this clinical scenario nowhere it is been mentioned that the individual is confused right the individual is completely oriented so that means there is no confusion so regarding the confusion the score is zero but first of all you take that is 65 so the age of the individual is more than 65 that means you take one point right then the other important thing is your urea so if urea levels if they are more than 7 millimoles per liter then you need to take a score of 1 right you need to take the score of 1 if the urea levels are more than 7 millimoles per liter then you take the respiratory rate if respiratory rate is more than 30 and how much is the individual's respiratory rate that is around 32 so for that also you take score of one more point 
then blood pressure if the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 and diastolic blood pressure is less than 60 and if you take the blood pressure of these individual 80 by 60 that means systolic blood pressure is less than 90 so you add one more point so how much will be the total score now the total score will be 4 okay so the answer to this particular question is your c now based on this score like where we need to admit this patient how do we need to treat this patient let me tell you now so for example if the score of the individual if it is in between 0 and 1 don't admit the patient you can treat the patient on outpatient basis by giving oral antibiotics whereas for suppose if the score of the individual if it is around 2 right if the pay, if the score of this individual is around 2 then you need to ask the individual for a short stay in the hospital without patient follow up right short stay in the hospital give parenteral antibiotic and then the individual has to have the outpatient follow up like for suppose if the score is in between 3 and 5 then you have to consider that the patient is having very severe pneumonia and you have to admit the patient in the intensive care unit and you need to give the parenteral antibiotics right you need to give parenteral antibiotics if the score is in between 3 and 5 so the score of our patient is 4 so that particular patient has to be admitted in icu and he has to be given the parenteral antibiotics then what is the chance of mortality like for suppose if the score is 0 to 1 the chance of mortality is less than 5 percent and if the score is in between 2 to 3 the mortality percentage is less than 10 percent and if the score is in between 4 and 5 the chance of mortality is nearly around 50 to 30 percent so depending upon your curved score you can also decide what is the risk of mortality that is what is the importance of your curve score but we cannot take curve score as a hundred percent for deciding the CVRT for deciding the mortality as well so it will only just predict the outcome so going back to the question the answer to this particular question is 4 and this particular patient has to be admitted in ICU and the patient has to be given on the intravenous antibiotic or parenteral antibiotic so this is a short video on curb 65 which will assess the CVRT of pneumonia so i hope you might have liked this particular short video so please follow us on the daily dose for the daily updates